Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're continuing now with free macros and uh, this time it's uh, more grading macros and continuing the series that I've uh, given away macros before. The last two in the series were from Monadic where it in emphasizes one color, Dyadic emphasizing two color. So unsurprisingly this is Triadic where it's three colors, which is particularly useful because you know, the red, green and blue, we have three colors, the primary colors, and also you can divide these into all sorts of other triangles and so on. So the way to do it is go to the link below, download the .macros file uh, or through the zip file and drag and drop it onto this area here and it will turn up down the bottom here. So let's have a look at them. If we open them up here, there's quite a lot. Uh, in fact, there's 28, I think, um, divided into triangles. There's equilateral triangles where it emphasizes, like the first one there, is red, green and blue. And then there's isosceles triangles, which is a kind of split complementary thing where you're taking one here and then like the two at the bottom, like that's also isosceles. Um, and then also there's right angled. So you've got like this, which is... Uh, another variant, which not so often used, but can have useful, interesting effects. So let's have a look at how it works. So we'll look at the circle here, the smooth color wheel here. Then if I click on the red, green, blue equilateral, see what happens here? It pushes out the red and pushes the blue here. So in other words, where there was orange more, it's becoming more red. You can see this in these colors here. So there's more blue pushed into the violet here and so on. And what you get down here is some control. So it's not been applied to the layer yet, but you can make some adjustments to it. And these are the same as with all the other uh, color grading uh, macros I use for the selective color, which is the control that it gives. Um, but it's used with HSL. So with this rotate, if we watch this middle one here, if I increase the rotation, see the whole wheel has rotated which means the yellow that was up here is now red. And the red, see, has become more of the rose colour. And so I can increase here, and it just, as I do that, this rotates and it goes back the other way. You can't slide this by the other way because you have to let, wait until it let goes and then do it. So let's go back to zero on that to show the shift, which is similar, but it has a different effect. It looks like it's rotating, but it's actually changing the color cycle. So if I turn this here, so I increase the shift, you can see here the magenta has come up. It's now spread out like the red. So the the distribution of colors has changed as well as it rotating. So you can get interesting effects like that. So you increase it. So now what was red, for example, would now be blue. So that could be quite a interesting effect. So, well, the strength, by the way, is, is effectively an opacity control, so it just makes it stronger or less. So if I apply that, it appears up here, and all it is is the group here. You've got an HSL beforehand, which is rotate, which is simply the change in the hue shift there. The shift afterwards, so there's nothing changed at the moment, but it gives you the ability to adjust it after you have set it. And the grade here, which says basically leave, this is a selective color in which these are set to have the effect that you can see. So if I delete that, and if I click on that one again, it's come here. But if I want to try another one, this makes it really, really useful, is that if I want to go the cyan, magenta, yellow, the secondary ones, I click on that and immediately it takes those. So it's boosted the yellow, the cyan and the magenta. And so on, I can go down the tertiary colors as well. Once you get to the tertiary ones, because you have to play around with the selective color, it's not quite as well set out as the primary and secondary colors, but it does have that effect. Then we can go down to things like this, red spring and teal. So it's another spring and teal down the bottom here is boosting those, so it's pushing it, those colors into the ones adjacent to it and so on. Let's see how to use it. So here's a picture. And when we do this, we pick colors. Um, and so look, well, I've got red, green, and blue in this. So you've got skin as well. You always got to be careful with skin. 
and let's see what happens. So I click on that and it's boosted it. Maybe the red's a bit too much or something or the effect too much. I can just turn the strength down and do this, see how that works. If I want to change it, I just click on another one to try it. And now it's boosted the, this is the sign magenta and yellow. The yellow there, hmm, that looks a bit funny, isn't it? So I'll tweak that down there. Oh, I could play around with things like maybe I can rotate the colour a bit. Oops, wrong way. Nope, don't like that effect there. How about adjusting here? Oh, that's not too bad. So you have to say fix things like that. And sometimes a little change makes a, a big difference. So you can play with those. And then just go down. So what we look here is say, well, I got skin here. So I need something to make sure that the red is keeps there. Maybe the cyan, rose and orange. How about that? Mm, maybe a bit muted, not sure, and so on. If I go to this one, this one, there's a lot more scope because you've got effectively artificial colour. You've got paint in here. So here, you don't want to keep the skin here, but it's not quite as important because it's only small areas. The sky, you'd want to probably keep blue and the, the trees. So when you start clicking on the ones here, then you're getting... It's not too bad, but look at the way it's changing these the artificial colours here whilst retaining the greens and blues and skin colours as well. So you're getting quite an interesting effect. We can even go down to ones here. Because it's nudging colours, reducing the number of colours by spreading out particular ones, you're getting kind of interesting effects overall, which you can always adjust here. And when you apply it, it's in a nice group like this. You can just click on the group and hit delete if you want to take it away or open it up and play with the individual things within it. Anyway, that's it and hope it was useful and thank you very much for watching.